Hello, today I'm going to talk about light emitting diet. What is the light emitting diet? A light emitting diet is a essential abjection of two semiconductors that emits a magnetic light when operated in a forward bias direction. LEDs convert electrical energy into light energy. They are frequently used as polite lights in electronic appliances to indicate whether the circuit is closed or not. The most important part of light emitting diode LED is the semiconductor sheep located in the center of pulp as shown at the right. The sheep has two regions separated by a junction. The B region is dominated by positive electric charge and the N region is dominated by negative electric charge. The junction acts as a barrier to the flow of electrons between the B and the N region. Only when the sufficient voltage is applied to the semiconductor chip can current follow and the electrons cross the junction onto B region. Excitation process it consists of two parts first part is electrons in the conduction band and second part is the holes in the valence band when the electron excited by the base forward voltage in the conduction band then move to valence band and combine with the holes and release energy photon How does an LED work? When the first voltage is applied to the sheep across the lead of LED, electron can move easily in only one direction across the junction between P and N region. In P region, there are many more positive than negative charge. When the voltage is applied and the current starts to follow, Electrons in N region have sufficient energy to move the junction into B region. Each time an electron recombines with positive charge, electron potential energy is converted into electromagnetic energy. For each recombination of negative and positive charge, a quantum of electromagnetic energy is emitted in the form of photon of light with the frequency characteristic of semiconductor materials. So now let's go to see this video more explanation and how does an LED work. In simple terms, here's how an LED works. An LED is a basic semiconductor device. P-type semiconductor material containing positively charged carriers called holes is combined with N-type semiconductor material containing negatively charged carriers called electrons to create a diode. When a current supply is connected to the diode, the negative charged electrons are forced to move one direction and the positive holes move in the opposite direction. When a free electron comes near a hole, it combines with a hole. The holes exist at a lower energy level than the free electron, so the electron must lose energy to combine with the hole. This energy is released in the form of a photon, or a unit of light. The amount of photon energy released determines the frequency or color of the light. The type of material and process of creating the N-type and P-type materials dictate the color of the photons, as well as the efficiency and other performance characteristics of the LED. After processing the material into an LED chip, the chip is installed in a package that allows electrical connection and directs as much light as possible in the desired direction. Types of LED. LEDs has many types. So the first one RGB, second one flashing, SMD, high power. And each one has 
many different characteristics and application. So, for example, the first one is called RGB LED. This is signal LED producing red, green, and blue light. It has four pins for one of each color and common cathode, and so on for another types of LED. How we can get the different colors of LED? The wavelength of light and the poles color depends on the type of the semiconductor material used to make the dye. That is because the energy band structure of semiconductor difference between materials. So photons are emitting with different frequency. Here is a table of common LED semiconductor by frequency. So this table shows the summary of LED characteristic. Here is a valence region for each type of material and their color for each one and the band gap of each material which we can get the color from the band gap the application of LEDs LEDs have a lot of application following the R. For your example, devices, medical application, closing toys. Second one, remote controls, as TVs, lighting, indicators, and things, opto isolators, and opto cables, fillers. Finally, goods and proofs. Allah said in the Holy Quran Derby, that is a beautiful example for what we were learning about LED where the whole attracting to the electron and combining uh, them relays proton also Allah said in the Holy Quran We have greeted all things with defining period dominate. So nowadays we can see how the technology everywhere, such as the LED, and many applications which we can use it, like in the traffic lights in the street, and in the receiver, and in the back of the lights of the car. So thank you for attention and I hope you enjoyed by this presentation and see you soon. Thank you.